Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Air Magnet Survey Pro. Today we're going to cover the topic of starting a new project in Survey Pro. I can start a new project by either going to the File menu and selecting New Project, or I can use the New Project Wizard icon on the control ribbon. I will give my project a name. In this case, I will use the name Tutorial. For my project, because it is an indoor project, I will choose a non-GPS project type. If I were performing an outdoor survey, or if I plan to leverage GPS data for location information, I would choose GPS project. Next, I will import the floor plan for the site that I would like to perform my design or survey with. Air Magnet Survey Pro supports image files such as BMP, TIFF, PNG, or JPEG as well as AutoCAD drawing files and Visio images. I now have the option to put in my floor plan dimensions. Because these dimensions are relative to the size of the image that I'm importing, and I don't know how much white space there is around that particular floor plan image, I'm going to elect to calibrate my site after import. This will allow me to choose known reference markers on my floor plan and enter a dimension accordingly. Finally, I need to pick my signal propagation. Air Magnet assigns the signal propagation assessment value based upon the estimate of the distance RF signals can travel in each of these typical environments. Normally, it is recommended that the user accept the default value that the program assigns. Because my floor plan is for an office environment, I'll leave the selection on Open Space Office. Finally, I can enter any additional descriptive text that might be helpful to me in identifying this project, then click Finish. Survey now warns me that the calibration has not been done and asks me if I would like to calibrate now. Now that I can see my floor plan, I'm going to say yes, I would like to calibrate. Survey Pro now asks if I would like to recalibrate the entire site's dimensions after I perform my site measurements. Since I did not put in any valid site measurements and I do not trust the defaults that the system is using, I will say yes because I'm about to enter valid site dimensions and I want to make sure the full drawing is recalibrated with the information that I enter. After clicking yes, I now have a small push pin icon for my mouse. I can select two points on my floor plan to represent a measurement that I know. I can then give the distance between those two push pins. In my case, I happen to know that those two push pin marks on my building are 150 feet apart. For my floor plan, the image is scaled the same on X and Y, so I will do a dual dimension recalibration. If I had a graphic in which the X and Y axes were at different scales, I would want to only calibrate one particular dimension and then calibrate the other. In this case, I'm just going to click Recalibrate. You will note that the overall dimensions of my site have now been recalculated and calibrated based upon the site dimension that I entered. I now have a new project created with valid site dimensions. I'm now ready to perform any planning or surveying that needs to be done. Thank you for watching, and thank you for choosing Air Magnet Survey.